Welcome to RealHound University. This class is going to walk you through how to create and use a brand new Microsoft Access database. Now there's two different types of databases that we can use to hold our information in RealHound, Microsoft Access and SQL. If you're not familiar with SQL, SQL is more of our industrial grade type database and allows you to hold 25, 30,000 or more contact and property records in your database. Now the far majority of our users use Microsoft Access because it's much simpler to set up and use, but if you are looking at using SQL for a larger database, please check out our other guides on how to set up SQL. Now SQL usually requires some additional IT assistance, so please be aware of that before heading down that path. Now to set up a brand new Microsoft Access database, we're going to want to come to this different Microsoft Access database option on the login screen. Now when you first install RealHunt, it comes with a sample database, which is great for testing out and playing with the program. But once you decide that RealHound's right for you, you want to start by creating your own brand new database. Now we can do that by simply clicking the Create a New Database option. Now on the screen that appears, it has three different steps. Step one asks us to choose where we want to save our brand new database. Now where we want to save it is our RealHound Live program folder. Everything is saved and stored and run from this RealHound Live program folder when you're using the program. So saving your database there too really just makes sense. It's going to make it run as smoothly and as efficiently as possible without experiencing any hiccups. In step two, we can drill down to another folder if we like, but we can skip that as well. And in step three, we can choose the name our brand new database. Now we can name our database anything that we want, but you should keep your database name to eight characters or less with letters and numbers only. No special characters like dashes, ampersands, extra periods or spaces. So DB123 is just fine. The shorter the better. RealHound looks at your database millions of times throughout the day and so the simpler your database name is the faster it's going to run. Once we're ready we can click select and it tells me that a new database has been created and that one of our user records has been created for us to log in with as well which is exactly where we want to be. I can hit OK and my new database shows up here on the list. Now to log into my database, I can use either the new username that it said it created for me or I can log in as administrator and then we can access the database without a password. Uh, there are no passwords on a database until we specifically set them up and setting up users and passwords and teams is covered in our, uh, our other guide specifically on setting up our users and team permission roles. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and uh, have a great day.